Okay, I go W7. Let's take a look at the side. <clears throat> Pop this out of the case. Set this box on the side. Now, <clears throat> go to bring out my deck over here to work on. So, uh, the I go W7 is uh, four pieces. All right, so let me just take that apart for you real quick. Okay. Over here, it is um, technically like a three-prong atomizer with the juice wells over here. And then the top cap screws off like so. And then this is the rest of the body with the airflow ring. Okay. Uh, the whole purpose of this is so that like it's easy to manage and clean. However, unlike you know things like the atomic or whatever, when the top portion of this part, okay, uh, the top cap, when you screw it down, no matter how tight you screw this thing, it's not going to help lock the position of the airflow ring. So let's say if I screw this down very very tightly, okay, I could still easily position the the airflow control no problem it, it, it actually does not apply any pressure onto this all right so now what we're going to do is that i'm going to uh bring up the uh the google images and then i'll show you a couple of images of how this thing is originally intended to be built and then we will come back and i will show you how i would have built this thing okay all right, guys, so checking it out on screen over here, okay, we can see that um, the, there's an Igo W7 over here that's built by some Japanese dude, and then he has the coils over here and over here very close to where the negative uh, connections are, right? And then uh, let me show you another picture over here, okay, which is also built by the same guy, right? And then... Uh, the, this is it with the uh, the coils fired up. Okay, so basically this atomizer is inspired, the design of it is inspired by the Origin Dripper by Norbert. Uh, the only basic difference is the airflow system. You might argue that like, you know, the Norbert one is better because it has like all these different airflow settings. However, um, the difference is, um, I don't know, I find the airflow settings on this one better. Okay, uh, let, let me let me try to get a better picture over here for you guys to see the uh, the airflow on it. Okay, so basically <clears throat> what happens is that there's another you know hole on the inside of this like a window, and then you would slide however uh, wide and however uh, you, you know tight that you want the draw to be, right? As opposed to having a whole bunch of you know set airflow settings. Um, I think the difference is kind of like, you know, when the Trident came out, there's like a couple of airflow settings versus like, you know, the Valkyrie or the Kraken when that came out, where basically, you know, you could just tweak uh, from the lowest setting to the to the wide open setting and then everywhere in between. Uh, if you understand cars, then it's kind of like the difference between like a five gear transmission and a CVT transmission where, you know, you get all the gears in between. One is not necessarily better than the other, but I find the design of this thing a lot more sleek as opposed to having a ton of holes. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so let's look down again and then let me show you how I would have built uh, this atomizer my way, okay? All right, so very much unlike what I saw on uh, different kinds of images, okay? I felt as if, like, when you have something of this type, all right, with the uh, deep juice wells inside, right? I think we should uh, take more advantage of what the juice wells is. So in this uh, case, I'm actually thinking that we should probably use nano coils, okay? So finally, an excuse and a reason to build nano coils. So let's just go ahead and get at it. All right, uh, as I've always said, instead of using a syringe, I recommend that people just unravel a paperclip in order to build their nano coils, okay? Now, my paperclip is bent into this kind of a shape, and you'll see why in a second, right? It's, it's more of a unique shape. So with me over here, I have a generous portion of 28-gauge uh, Canthal, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start to build my nano coil. All right, so before I begin wrapping, Okay, I'm going to give myself maybe about like two, two and a half inches of, uh, of a lead to work with so that now I begin to wrap my first wrap over here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I just wrap it ridiculous and then I just push it back together by hand. Okay. And then 
what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a plier and then give it a little tug here, give it a little tug here so it's nice and stuck. Okay. All right. There we go. And there's my nano coil. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, nail clipper, clip this off. All right. And then I'm going to set this aside. Now, we're going to do this one more time. So probably going to leave out that much. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there we go. So over here, take this, give it a tug, give it a tug. Okay, push it back together. All right, so from this part, I'm just gonna cut that, and then that's my excess. So now I have two nano coils over here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to install them like so. All right, I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to insert it this way. Let me release all the screws, make sure they're nice and up before we begin to do this. All right, now I'm going to take this. Plug it in this way, all right, and then use the other half of the uh, paper clip that I made as a tool to hold my nano coil. See what I'm saying? Okay, and then, oops, I dropped the screw. Let me leave the screw on the side first, and then. I'm going to take this thing, bring it over like so, okay, and then I take the negative over here and I spin it around this way. Now I use the negative to hold my coil in place. Boom, done. Do that. And there's the nano coil in there. Now, flip this around and do the same thing. Whichever one is the longer lead is probably the one that you want to work with. Take your tool, put the nano coil inside of the, uh, the paper clip. See how it holds its form? Then we want to take this and then. Okay, the thing looks about right here. There we go. So now I'm going to clip some of my leads. So basically we're using a tool to place and then shape the coil, right? And then let's get the coil out. Let's get our tool out of there. Okay, same thing over here. Take this, shape this down. Okay. All right, there we go. We got a larger screwdriver to give this top a little bit more torque. All right, now what I'm going to do is that spin this off, spin this one off, right. And 
give you a closer look at the two nano coils that are built inside now. Try to focus this a little bit better. Okay. All right. So from this point on, what are we going to do? Well, very easy. Going to uh, get a little bit of cotton. Not much. These are those situations where, you know, less is more. So just a little bit here, a little bit there. And then we take, uh, first I'll just go ahead and clock this thing for you guys so that you can see what it would be firing at 0.63. And then we take our, uh, best to use a small flathead screwdriver. And then just go ahead and uh, fill up the juice well with cotton. Before I add juice to this thing, okay, I'm pretty sure the uh, one question that you guys are all going to be asking is, Peg, look, there's so much lead over here and over here. Wouldn't that get hot? Wouldn't that like, you know, something, something, no good or short out or something like that? Actually, no. Why? Because coils always heat from the inside out in both directions. You see what I'm saying? So while there, there's juice inside of here in both sides of the juice well, okay, the juice, this thing has to cook before uh, this lead begins to get hot. So this lead will actually never get hot until this thing is, you know, all piping red. You see what I'm saying? But since well, this is always going to be kept moist, th that's never going to happen. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a couple of drops in here, and then I'm going to put it on a, uh, a mech mod and then fire it. To show, just to show you guys the performance. Okay, a little juice here, a little juice here, like so. Okay. All right, so with me over here, I have a, uh, a magneto. See that? Finally, a reason to build nano coils when you have a juice well. Works very well like this. Why? Because the coils are centered, so they're not off on the corners. So then when you put your uh, cap back on with the airflow adjusted, you see how the, where the nano coil is and you know the shape of the air hole this thing would make a lot of sense. Okay, and that's how I would have built this thing.